lips and cry. Z Toys here, and today I'm super excited to bring you another Play-Doh Town. I love these little sets. This one's an ice cream truck, and who doesn't love ice cream, right? All right, let's get this out of here. We'll just flip this around. <laughs> Whoops, our ice cream truck's all tangled. There we go. Now we need someone to drive the ice cream truck. So let's get the ice cream man out of here. First we have an ice cream cone, some molds, a popsicle stick, here's another ice cream cone, some green play-doh, pink play-doh, a popsicle mold, Our ice cream man. And purple Play-Doh. So first things first, our ice cream man's lacking some hair. Let's give him some. First we'll use some purple Play-Doh. And I'm gonna try to make it look just like the ice cream man on the box. He had green and purple hair. We'll just mold these two together and then stick it on top like this. We're going to keep repeating that step till he has a full head of hair. There you go, Mr. Ice Cream Man. The picture on the box also had some pink sprinkles, so I'm going to add that too. He looks pretty happy about his new hair, but he'd probably be happier if we got to work and made some ice cream. This top cone is actually an extruder. And the ice cream truck has a bunch of molds on it. We can make so many different types of toppings. This tray also has a bunch of molds. It goes in just like this. I think we should make a popsicle first. We'll start it off with some green. And then purple. And then some pink. Now we insert the popsicle stick. and then fill the other side. Now get ready to squeeze! Let's take off all the excess Play-Doh. Yum! That popsicle looks really good! Order up! Now let's make a cone. The bottom of the cone has a little square on it, and it attaches to one of the squares that's in this tray right here. Now for our swirl, I'm going to use pink and green. It'll be like mint chocolate chip and strawberry. I've never had that combination before. Ooh, 
Ooh, I love those colors together. Let's make another one, but this time with green and purple. I put a little bit of Play-Doh at the bottom of the cone so our swirl would be higher. I think that was a good idea. It's turning out pretty good. This could be grape and mint chocolate chip. This is the extra Play-Doh that was in the extruder. I'm gonna use it to make a popsicle. It'll kind of be like a tie-dye popsicle. Ooh, that turned out great. And here are our two popsicles. I think our ice cream cones need some toppings though. I'm gonna use some brown Play-Doh that unfortunately didn't come with the set. I'm using it to make a pretzel. And I'm gonna use purple for this berry and red for a cherry. The red Play-Doh also didn't come with the set. Yum, that ice cream cone looks great. And for our other ice cream cone, I'm gonna use pink for a strawberry, some red for a gummy bear, and then for the candy, I'm gonna use pink for the middle and green for the wrapper. There's our strawberry. A red gummy bear. Red gummy bears are one of my favorites. Let me know in the comments what color gummy bear is your favorite. Ah, oh, cool, this candy turned out great. We'll stick it right here. And I saw a little wafer back there. I'm gonna try to reach it. Yum, that'll add some nice crunch to our ice cream. That's if it stays on. Come back here. There we go. Well, this set was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.